The work of Kaifa is important, not only in football, but you see, they use football to get to reach the kids. Now when the kids, like today, they're playing football, I can talk about other issues. It's difficult to get them in a group like that and spend quality time with them without having a centre or a common theme to bring them close. So Kaifa does that to bring the boys closer so you can talk about life skills, uh, washing hands and drugs and child abuse and HIV and AIDS. Yeah? So all that Kaifa does, but uses football to bring them close. The fact that KNVB started the World Coaches program in an effort to not only increase the football skills, the coaching skills of these people who are on the ground with all of these teams around the world, uh, but they also are trying to bring up the idea of life skills training. The World Coaches program is about two things. One, to have good football players, uh, maybe and coaches and trainers, but also to develop kids who are responsible in the community. Uh, we and the other implementing partners are going to be working very closely with selected schools to implement programs that first use football as the entry point and then bring in the water, uh, sanitation and hygiene training as well as the infrastructure. Actually what is very important is that to train them much on some of the effects of using uh, dirty hands some of the diseases that we can get as a result of that, if they can be trained on the best way that the soap can also be used, and the essence of using the soap, I think that one also can help them. The content of football intertwined with uh, the, the wash, the general cleanliness uh, of these uh, players actually can do bet, better to the uh, health of the young ones. Uh, sports is a natural uh, way of engaging children in positive activities, especially life skills training, because uh, these are kids who interact with their mentors and their coaches are their mentors. So when their coaches are in a position uh, to give them guidance about activities in their life beyond just the football field, then it actually has a very positive impact on them and it's something that they'll remember much more than sitting in a classroom and just looking at the blackboard. The exercise we do works in this frame. Kids, first we ask them, do they know about washing hands? Yeah, they know about washing hands. When to do it and why to do it. Sivio. But now, how to do it. Sivio. So our idea was for them to see how it's done and, and how to do it properly. Because if something is stuck in your hand, you, can, you know how to get it out. Not just do it in a hurry because it's, you need to take your time to, make, to do it well. So that was the main idea. The training was good and fine, and we were even taught how to dribble after that, how to wash our hands after eating, before, after visiting the toilet, before cooking, and before eating. We expect to see schools that are really implementing a curriculum based on hand washing, proper drinking water, uh, all the different aspect, aspects that go into uh, these facilities like latrines, boreholes, uh, rain catchment systems. And we want to see that even the football, on the football pitch, kids are even talking about those good habits with their coaches and with the other players. Where I come from, the water is too expensive. Other people, they don't know the importance of washing their hands. I'm going to, to, to tell my friends the importance of washing our hands, my family and other, my relatives and my neighbor.